Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Cornerstone, the Song of Tyrim. This is a game developed by Overflow Games, published by Phoenix Online Publishing, and currently selling for $19.99 on Steam at the moment. This is a beautiful little game that, and I don't mean little in a bad way, I just mean it's a beautiful type of game that kind of takes me back to some of the, uh, the games I had played when I was a kid on like the Super Nintendo or the GameCube and things of that sort that has those graphics it also kind of reminds me of like how to train your dragon with like the the characters that they got and the the funniness of the humor that they're using in you know making the game what it is so very very cool for those of you who may have missed like the last couple episodes we did quite a few things we went through the tutorial both for you know how to build stuff as well as how to do some combat so we kind of got that down a little bit we have made some items as you can see right here on our back we have the shield and we have the um the staff the little uh, weapon there for us we also need to go inside some of these houses and uh, make sure that they are free of the ghost or whatever it is i think the pixies or something that are that are haunting these areas let me jump over here get a little bit of life if i can and a little bit of this ah, we're full on that one already okay and let's see if we can find one of the houses we also got the bandages that we needed to um can we go inside no we can't go inside i wonder why hmm We'll have to uh, maybe do that one at a later date. But let's come down here and help our guy out. Make sure he's uh, he's good to go. All right, start repair. Yeah, we can do this. Oh, all three in the center. Tyrim. There you go, Olaf. All fixed up. Super. That heals in no time. I'll head home. What? No, you can't walk home. You just hurt your leg. Well, I can't just uh, wish myself home. I spent this whole past week learning that. I know, I'll carry you. Well, okay, my house is that one over there, just with the red shield. Uh, I don't know what kind of voice that is, guys. I try to do it, try to do it for you. Wow, it's a long way to carry him. Let's do it. Oh, really? Okay, we'll do it, guys. We'll get him over there. Come on, dude. You can make it. Don't pass out on me. I will get you to the entrance now. No, we can't do it, guys. This is, this is rough. You can imagine how sore your arms would be carrying somebody like this. Just a little further. Ah, oh, come on. Don't do the voice anymore. Stop it. And we're going to jump with them? We're going to jump? This guy is like Arnold, man. Where, where is he hiding the muscles? Uh, actually, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, it's this one right here. There we go. Thanks, Tyrim. <laughs> Where would I be without you? Probably dead. Hmm, my dad's not here. <laughs> you see how his voice has changed? Because he's still a kid, guys. Uh, he said he would have to leave again, but we just got back to the island. Where is everyone else, Tyrim? Seems quite quiet here. Uh, and empty. All the other men left around the time you and your dad did. We haven't heard anything from anyone since then. Weird. I know they just uh, leave in groups from time to time, but never for this long, right? Yeah, and it's getting kind of bad because we're running low on some supplies and there are no ships left for us to do any trading. I've been telling the whole town that relying upon a sharing economy is a bad idea. Anyways, I don't know what to say other than ask around. Somewhere on this island, someone has to know something. Okay, we'll talk to some people apparently. Get some more wool here to kind of replenish what we lost. And let's see if we can go inside some of those houses. Because I really, really would like to do some of those. Because it'd be interesting to fight a little bit more. We haven't done too much combat. No, nope, still won't let us inside. So we'll have to go talk to that guy again. Okay, let's head back up and see if maybe we can get into there. I really want to know how to get over there too. That would be interesting. Maybe we'll have to do the houses in a certain order too. There might be a uh, you know first starting house or something. Let's talk to his mom. Although she did give us a quest already. Nope, you're not going to talk to us at all, huh? Yeah, she already gave us a... Ooh, yeah. He doesn't like to fall. I gotta remember that. He used to like Zelda where you can jump off of things. I like to train with the dummy. Sounds like my wife sent you. Oh, we've already done that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get started. Let's go with no on that one. Ah, oh, and there's a shield right there. So you get a shield for doing that one. I heard all these bandits that have made an encampment in the forest. I hope they're not planning on spreading any farther out. Okay, so he did have a little bit of information this time. Let's go talk to this woman, see if she's seen anything. Maybe. Ah, you got the furnace going. Are you... No, she's doing them keepsakes. Okay, we've already seen all that. Let's get out of that and come to the bar, maybe? Might be able to do something with the bar. 
I think this is where the guy was that offers the quest. Can we jump down? Yeah, we can. Did you rid the houses of the wisp? Not yet. Hey, what are the wisps supposed to be anyways? I don't know. The souls of the dead chicken seeking revenge or something. Just clear them out. <laughs> ah, that's what I told you guys. Never attack chickens in games. Just don't do it. It's not good for you. Okay, so... I, again, still do not know how to get into those houses to clear them out. But now that we know we definitely have permission... We just have to uh, try it again. You know, just try it a couple more times. Just look into different houses and see if there is like a starting one that is the way to get in there. And have we ever gone into here? I don't even know if we've tried. No, we never tried going into this one. Wow, that smells great, Eva. What is it? I chased down a chicken or a few chickens and tossed them into the pot. I love how these things just walk around everywhere. It makes dinner a snap. Helga, I was just thinking about what you said a few weeks ago. About when the Viking boys grew up, they'd have to sail around. They can't just stay put. Yep, I know you like sitting around and crafting things, but part of growing up and becoming a Viking is pillaging and marauding for supplies. Yeah, I know. And right now, I miss my dad, and I want to try to find him. I see. Well, that's a great start, Tyrim. Unfortunately, there are no boats left. The man took every last one. But I do know that there used to be a man who lived in town who might be able to help. He's since moved off to the far side of the island, just above the cliffs. He's probably your best bet, if you can find him. Thanks, Helga. I thought she was going to ask me for chickens. So no chickens for her, huh? Can we light that fire? We might be able to light that fire, actually, if we bring one in. Don't really want to waste one just to find out, though. For sale. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, there's definitely somebody in there. Let's go with the torch. we got to craft one of those. And we're going to light it. Yeah, now we're going to go in here and fight you. Let's block it with a shield if we can. Yeah, yeah, come on. Where'd you go? Oh, wow. We're taking a little bit of damage. We need, to, we need to heal up in between this one. Okay, so one of them is down. Can we light that? Yeah, we can. Let's see if we can get across the, the way and light hers as well. That might be like an achievement to light all the, the furnaces in the game. There we go. You are lit, baby. And let's come over here and get... Actually, let's leave you there because we're going to have to make another one anyways. So let's come over here and get some wood. Replenish that. What about in here? Can we go inside? No, we cannot. Another house for sale. I believe it was up here. Hoping this is the next one on the list. What about you? Can we go inside? No. So this is not the next one on the list. So one house down. Where would the next one be? Hmm. If it's not this way... Maybe it's back the other way. Let's see, can we go on this one? No, we cannot. Okay, so it didn't want us to come over here yet. I wonder why. I wonder why it won't let us inside. Like, this one was definitely open. So we got one house down. I wonder how you open the other ones. Maybe you have to go back to them and tell them that the other houses are locked or something along those lines and you can't get inside of them. Because I don't think there were any other ones, to be honest. At least no other ones that we've uh, we've seen that were open in some way. Let's see. The house is over there. That house is not for sale. So it's not part of the thing. And plus, we've been in here and there's no... Yeah, there's no bad guys in here. No, no, no nothing in here, actually. There's just emptiness. Uh, what about that one? I don't think we've actually been in that house. So let's see if we can get inside that house. If that doesn't work... We'll just go back and talk to him because uh, there's nothing else really we can do other than go off and hunt outside. That definitely is a possibility for us. But I kind of hate leaving without the the whole thing being done. You know, like there's there's quests to be had in here, and we can do those quests. Might as well, you know, get that get that out of the way. Maybe get access to some weapons before we head out into the world and get stuck somewhere because we just don't have access to the blueprints that we might need or the extra blueprints. That we could definitely use to get into secret areas. No, nope, nothing in there. Nothing over here. Yeah, this is the only other house. This one right here. Going up the hill. That one we can't go in either. Hmm. Yeah, guys, I'm kind of stumped on that one. Actually, very stumped on that one. So let's go back to the bar. Bar it is, guys. Who doesn't love going back to that bar? There's nothing really in there, but we need to get a little bit of life while we're here, so let's snag that. Fireplace is lit, so you are good. 
did I ever try going back into my house? I think I did, but it wouldn't let me, right? No, now it will let me, and that has not been lit yet, so let's do that. Let's see, where's the nearest torch? Nearest torch is probably down here, yep. All right, so let's go ahead and make another torch. It's kind of a waste, but the, there's so many resources in this game. There's really no downside to just coming in here and, you know, making it when you need it. You can always find more as long as you're not really wasting a whole lot. Let's get in there. I don't really want to burn down the tree, but let's see if we can. Nope, can't do that. There we go. All right, I think that's it. I think we've been into all the houses, and that's the last one we haven't lit yet. What about over here? Yeah, the bar. We'll go inside the bar. He should give us something for taking out the first one. What are you going to give me, dude? Did you rid the houses of the wisp? Not yet. Okay, well, there's something going on with that. We'll have to we'll have to look around a little bit and see if there's another house on the other side because there is another part of this map that we have not been to yet. And it's just I can't get to it. It's in the water. And I'm thinking we're going to need some type of I don't know, like grapple hook or I'm just missing the obvious house of how to get into that area way over there on that side like this right here maybe oh you know what can we push it we can okay so i was missing it that's that's how you do it you gotta push that over so let's push this over nice all right well now we know how to do it and now we can walk across and we'll just boom there we are guys over here to a new area and there's there's most definitely a house in this area that needs to be cleansed of the, the evil demons, guys. The evil demons. Can we do it? What is this flower? Oh, wow. Okay. There, there's a flower over here that doesn't like to be poked. What are you? Ooh, that's cool. Didn't know that happened, but I'm kind of... Oh, and there's another one. But where's the torches? Where are the torches? I don't, I don't see a torch over here for me to light my thing on fire. Hmm... There's a chest, though, so let's grab that chest. Definitely should kill that guy, but not going to be able to at the moment. Can we get it? Ooh, a wooden sword. We'll take the wooden sword. Well, we took the blueprints for a wooden sword, I should say. Let's grab that. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we can get him. Yeah, yeah, we got him, guys. I want to see if maybe we can kill these guys without fire, even though it said, like, fire is, is the thing you might want to use. Yeah, fire is what we have to use on that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I actually had my shield out, and it blocked the damage, even though he hit me in the back. So I don't think that was supposed to be the thing. Oh, wow. Okay, so maybe not a good idea to do that. What about down here? That's uh, that's just going into the water. We'll do that mm, a little bit later. We need to find the torch. Is there a torch in here? No, there's no torch in here. I might have to bring a torch from over there. I might actually have to run all the way over here with the torch lit and then light the fireplace and the fireplace might be a place that I can light it later on so that might be what they're there for not like an actual little cheat or something sounding good Helga thanks Tyrim I've been keeping it in major key since people have started worrying about the man I know you miss your dad how are you holding up okay I guess I don't know you know how the adults are always tells us kids we need to start learning to sail around to the different islands. And how I never want to do that and never want to leave. Sure, there never was a big homebody, uh, or bigger homebody than you, Tyrim. Yeah, well, I want to find my dad so badly that I almost do want to go out sailing just so I can find him. Well, if that's what would make you happy, then it's definitely a good thing. Okay, can we go inside your house? Oh, yeah, and there's fire in here, guys, so we don't need to run all the way over there. Let's go ahead and get some of this wool. No, we don't need the wool. We are going to make a torch. Let's do that. We're going to have to leave our... Yep, we have to leave our sword there. And we were able to light it. That is exactly what they're for. So let's come over here and kill this guy off. If we can do it. Oh, yeah, he's going to fire on us instantly. Those dudes are just notoriously bad with their... Come on, do it. Oh, yeah. One shot apiece. He shoots. I score. Light it. Oh, we can't light it because there's no wood in there. Okay, so we're going to have to run. I'm going to wait until this one runs out. I'm going to come over here and get another one. Actually, I can drop this one, can't I? Nope, I can't drop it until it finally runs out. All right, let's wait for it. Come on, you can do it. 
Uh, almost. There we go. All right, one more. One more should do it. And we're going through a little bit of wood, but it's not too bad. I think we can make it. Come on. Whole butt, guys. Whole butt. Just, I love the music, though. That's actually really, really nice and soothing. Too bad nobody can hear her over here on this side. Now let's make sure we don't. Yeah, I was going to say, don't miss it. Definitely want to be able to kill this guy. Can we do it? Oh, yeah. One more. Yeah. Ah, we almost... Oh, ooh, he got me from behind. Wasn't watching that one. You missed, dude. Oh, you didn't miss that time. Gotcha. Can we burn it? How do we get up there? How do we get into that? How do you guys think... We need some kind of, uh, like, crowbar or something along those lines. Maybe, actually, once he gets in here, he wants it repaired, and he'll give us the job for that. There's a ladder right there on the back end, but it's not completely done. All right, let's come down here. Uh, how are we going to do this? Ah, there we go. And we're going to climb down this way and just see what might be down here in the water. See if we can survive in the water. And apparently we can. Can we dive? No, we can't dive. At least none that I found. Put that away. Anything out here? No, I don't want to swim too much out here because we could go out pretty far and it would take a long, long time to get back. So let's go back up. Let's go talk to the guy in the bar and see if maybe we've uh, completed this task. There is still one more for sale, like I said before, that we were just not able to get into. But, you know, if we can't get into it, maybe it doesn't count. I'm hoping that's the case. Oh, yeah. Figured it out. And there's so much to do in this town before you even leave. So make sure you guys kind of look around. Make sure you don't forget that uh yeah there's a lot of a lot of resources to be had in here and you're probably going to need them at some point so just make sure you do as many quests as possible when these types of games come out that's the key okay what are you gonna say dude what are you gonna say i did it they're all gone terrific as a reward for your work i will give you a, a house wow what really sure oh wow that's so cool and so generous it sure sounds that way, doesn't it? You give the first one away, the first one's always free. But once you have a taste of home ownership, one house isn't enough. You want one more, and then one more? Always just one last extra house. Before long, you'll own a whole island of houses and be indebted to a bunch of these darn uh, islanders. They won't pay rent, they won't perform basic maintenance, and before long, it'll all leave you bitter, alone, and broke. So yeah, have one house hanging off the edge of the cliff over the water and try not to dream about more houses. Uh, got it. I won't. <laughs> I don't think that's the way it works with houses, but maybe the way it works with him. All right, your trophies and other goodies will be gathered here, but first you might want to have to uh, fix it up. Eh, we'll definitely go over there and check it out. Actually, let's talk to this guy once more. Nope, you don't have anything to say to me. What about you, dude? You just, uh, you just cleaning? Just cleaning. Nothing to sell, nothing to do. You would think he would just kind of close this place down, but again, with nothing to do, why not just open it up and kind of hang out here? That is, uh, you know, the tradition. That's probably what he's used to doing day after day anyways. Oh, little dude, I got a house now, and you're still pushing me around? That's something else. I kind of want to go over to that statue and just make sure there's not something behind it, but I'm going to go to my house. I'm going to go to my house. Let's see. Can we go? Run, run, forest. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. I love the jumping in this one. Okay, my house is over a cliff. Does that mean that one? Or that one? That one is the one they were talking about. Yeah, he's going to make it the one that's really difficult to get to. Because I don't think any home buyer would be like, yeah, I don't mind jumping on a mushroom every time I want to get up to my house. That would be great with the bag full of groceries. Uh, start repairs. Okay, we'll do that. Yeah, right there. Okay, so it's going to repair everything. 30% less resources. And it's taken a little while for him to build it, so this might be a pretty big repair. I think the flooring right there is... Oh, so we still got to do the flooring. What kind of resources we need for that? Cost 10 pieces of wood, 5 pieces of uh, iron or stone or whatever that is. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, there we go. Right down the middle. That is absolutely perfect. And that goes all the way down so we can get to our house a little bit easier. There's our first trophy right there. The duck with actually a sleeping hat on. I thought that was like a military helmet at first. But no, it's like uh, he's a sleepy duck. He's a sleepy duck, guys. Nice little trophy. What about out here? There is a butterfly that kind of gets frozen right here for some reason. And it's kind of weird. But 
kind of interesting. I don't know. We got a chest out here too. Oh, yes. So we got all that filled back up. So they give us all the pieces we need. Oh, and there's a ladder. There's a ladder to like a rooster's nest up here. Let's see. What do we got up here? Anything more we can we can upgrade? Can I put like a catapult up here or something? No. I could I could jump into the water though. No, we're not going to jump into the water. We're going to go down. No. Yep. Going to take some damage on that one. Let's come over here. And we're going to go down. And, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, we will be uh, making another episode of this uh, here shortly where we're going to be going out on the next one. We're going to be going out of the village for the very first time and just seeing what's there, what kind of uh, trouble we might get up into, which uh, I think is going to be pretty interesting. I cannot wait to check that out. Again, this game is developed by Overflow Games, published by Phoenix Online Publishing, and currently selling for $19.99 on Steam. So definitely give them a check out, uh, write a little review, just give them a thumbs up, whatever the case may be, if you like the way this game looks. I think it's worth it, and I think you'll uh, enjoy it as well. As always, I'm AC Gamer, and I will definitely catch you all next time. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.